Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm going to be doing a reading for Capricorns. Welcome. This is your reading. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's just jump right in and see what has been going on, Capricorns. All right, so in the past, you were in this energy of the waiting game. So I'm getting a um, things not going as quickly as maybe you, you would like. Um, maybe going around in circles. Uh, a lack of trusting in divine timing. You've been, in the past, you've had this energy of king of swords. Head over heart, truthful, honest, clear, mental clarity. I get the feeling that you were, um, there's something about truth coming in. Um, let's see. some type of truth that came in that created um, inner turmoil. It was some kind of truth that revealed a secret. And it created a space where you went within because you knew that's where your answers are. Your answers aren't outside of you, they're within you. Boy. Well, um, I think some of you might've felt that this going within felt like being isolated instead of um, doing work on yourself. And whatever this truth is, it created a, a lack of inner joy and dissatisfaction. It might have made you feel like um, you you thought it, if there's some truth around not being emotionally fulfilled. Your dreams, some kind of dream that you had didn't come through. Ooh, I'm getting that actually because that didn't happen the way you pictured I'm getting that the universe agrees with you that this, you are deserving of whatever that is, that dream, that vision, those hopes. And, but it's not going to happen with the people in the situation that was around you. And so, because, and, because the people in the situation around you made you feel um, left out. They weren't, they were excluding you in some way. Making you feel out in the cold. Injured. I 
again, I'm getting delays. There's some, it just, this seemed to go on forever. This, whatever this is in your past Capricorn just went on forever. This indecision, this stalling resistance, this feels like someone stalling. You, it feels like you knew exactly what you wanted. I mean, pretty darn close and you even communicated it. And there was someone just who can't make a decision, who just stalled out. And it created a situation where you asked for balance and equality. The truth, you wanted the truth. And it looks like at some point you did get it. You might not have gotten the truth from this person. The truth might have been within yourself from going within, from soul searching, from your connection um, to the divine, that you were able to see a peak of the truth of what's going on because this person refused to change and created delays, stalled, but kept you out in the cold and, and tried to keep you away from your dreams. It feels like a um, sabotage, it does. It feels, I, I think at least from your perspective, it, it, your perception is this was um, sabotage and you asked for balance and the truth and the truth came in and you went within to, to heal and to contemplate and, and find your answers. Like I'm getting like, what now? So in the present time, you are in the energy of triumph. This is um, chariot. This is moving forward. So now you are moving forward from these energies, whatever this was. I love that in the past you were in this cyclical pattern just waiting 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 for something to change and now you are pew, moving forward moving on that was not successful again at the bottom of the deck is eight of cups moving on abandoning um whatever this situation is I'm getting that you are you are so focused now whatever this is in the past and whatever this truth that you received whatever holding pattern that you were in and stuck in for a long time excuse me you are out of in a very profound way I get at times you might feel restless and unfocused and maybe even burn out. And it feels like it, it triggers a fear response that you're still in this cycle, but it, it's just an echo. It's, it's not um, coming back. It, unless you decide you want to go back and explore more delays. When delays happen right now, it feels like, oh, I thought I was moving forward. I'm worried about this, but what I'm getting is that your energy has more of an ebb and flow 
to it, that you keep moving forward and then back to heal, back and free, and to, to allow the process to happen and not need it to happen in any specific way because you are in a pre empress mode. You are receiving rewards for your work. You're independent, self-sufficient. You can take care of yourself and your home. You're abundant. So there is a little split in your energy. Wow. Allow those fears to dissipate and give yourself time to allow them because you, you were stuck in this cycle for so long where your energy was just going around and around and around and not changing. So now when you make a change, just allow what's ready to release to release and trust the process because you have leveled up from this. You are now, you, you now have a lot of compassion for yourself having gone through this for anybody else who's in this type of situation feels like you have learned how to nurture yourself and heal and become emotionally stable. And again, your intuition is coming in. There's something in the past that happened that feels more intuitive than like a truth coming from someone else. And by knowing that truth, finding, validating that that is the truth, it feels like it gave you validation that your intuition is spot on. And you're working through imbalances. Um, you might be depending on alcohol or drugs to, as you're coming out of this energy, you might've used a lot of alcohol or whatever to, to keep you in this situation. To, it was going on forever without an ending and to, it feels like you wanted to stay in this situation in the past because you'd been in so long and you dedicated so much time and energy. You're like, maybe just a little bit longer and then I'll see results, maybe a little bit longer and I'll see, right. Maybe. And so you use alcohol and drugs or some type of addiction, something to make it so you could stay in this energy because you just um, were wildly uncomfortable in that space. Your higher self right now is in the energy of heartache and loss. So this is three of swords. Um, your higher self is, is suggesting um, acknowledging it feels like someone put someone or something above you. And you also put someone and something above you. It feels like you did that first. You put someone else as above you. And over and over and over again, And so that reflection was, ooh, that hurts. I can feel the pain in that. So by putting, allowing someone to come before you over like in a chronic way, and maybe codependent, putting someone else first chronically and not taking care of yourself first, 
they their reflection back to you was i also won't put you first i am going to put someone else above you or something it doesn't have to be a third party situation it could be their job or something um It feels like this was so disempowering. I think in your mind, by putting someone else first, what you expected was them to also put you first. So you each put each other first. Like something like that was feels like the picture, but instead um, the picture was that what, like I said, by putting someone else first, the reflection was they also put someone else first before you. Your challenge right now is recognition and reward. This is three of pentacles in the original. There's working on something on a collaboration on your skill level. Your challenge is ooh, your challenge is to put yourself first. Allow what is yours to flow with ease into your life and experience. By not putting someone else first and by, it feels like you gave a lot of your energy to this person in this situation. By reclaiming your energy and your power by putting yourself first, by not abandoning yourself, you are, your challenge is to allow your blessings to come into you, you, allowing your blessings to find you, not through this other person in this situation, but come in new and unexpected ways Imagine these blessings coming to you in ways you, you can't even imagine. Like amazing, um, delightful, surprising ways that you can allow what you've held at bay from yourself. It's not that things aren't coming your way. It's that your energy has held that at bay, believing that your blessings come through a specific person or situation. And now it's realizing that you are powerful. You are empowered. Blessings can come through you. You don't need an intermediary, intermediary for that to happen. And it feels like you've got the sudden awareness that you're choosing happiness that you are moving into that space of acceptance i accept what happened doesn't mean you have to like it but i accept that this happened and i've learned a lot from it it doesn't make what happened, like their behavior and their actions, okay. What it says is it happened. I accept that it happened and I, I grew from this. I grew away from this energy. I found my answers within, I found my strength. I am moving on. I am leveling up. And going forward, I know I don't want to be breadcrumbed. I know I don't want to receive something with strings. So I'm going to give and receive equally. It feels like you gave and gave and gave and gave into this relationship. 
the situation and now you are very clear in agreement with yourself as well as others that this is how you work with me right now I need equal give and take and because I'm I I want to make sure and practice with myself I'm practicing because I gave and 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 gave, and gave that now I am practicing receiving. I'm practicing receiving from others. I'm practicing receiving from spirit, the blessings that are mine. I'm enjoying the process of, of how to receive help and guidance and love from others instead of only giving. And you are loving yourself. You are filling your own cup. You also might have a new love offering on the horizon. It feels like the more that you learn, you're learning to love yourself and have that compassion and and really realizing how, what it means to love yourself. Is it just bubble baths and, you know, indulgence or is it, I mean, not that there's anything, I love bubble baths, but what, how do you really fill your own emotional cup without depending on someone else doing it? And it feels like you are, doing that in such a profound way that that reflection is, I love myself. I'm amazing. I'm loving. I'm a great friend. I'm caring. I'm compassionate. I'm talented. I'm valuable. I'm worthy of love and respect. I am skilled. I am this amazing being. There's no one else like me. I am an infinite being of light having this finite experience. I am an embodiment of joy and individuality. You've got so much going for you. And so the more that you build yourself up by telling yourself these things, by in listening self-talk, that is giving to yourself and, and realizing in a real way what you bring to the table. The reflection then from the outside will be that others see your value, others key in, um, but you will be in this new powerful place where you don't need their approval, you don't need their validation. It will just be a cherry on the top because you have already filled yourself up, you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses, and it feels like that reflection is that people wanting to reward you and recognize how amazing you are, and quite possibly in a love offering from someone who, who does see your value who wants to be that reflection for you of you fill yourself up. I, I would like to fill your cup as well. Not that you need it, but because they enjoy that. It feels like reciprocal type of relationship. You're finding inner harmony is bringing others who want that foundation of inner harmony, people not looking for drama. It looks like you are attracting the energy of an emperor, or you are also in the power, the emperor mode you are growing this inner respect 
being a leader, protecting yourself, taking care of yourself by putting yourself first. You've got focus and discipline. And so it, I get this mirroring that you are then attracting someone who also is in this same energy of um, respecting you, seeing you more in the way that um, feels like you were a, a chaser, you chased a runner, and now you've stopped um, chasing and you're giving to yourself and healing yourself. And it looks like you're clearing that runner chasing dynamic and you're wanting something completely new, a, a new type of dynamic, equal give and take. Feels like you're willing to explore new, new opportunities. You might be a little defensive right now because you feel you're still working through some grief and loss from the past, but the wheel of fortune is up. This is a wonderful time and space that you're in. You have good luck on your side. You've got amazing amount of karma because you're an amazing, talented person and you've created what you've put out is coming back. There's just this turning point where things right now feel like they're really ready to happen if you're ready to receive them. So, all right, Capricorn, that's your reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.